It's being called a brazen act, a puppy stolen from a pet store in Windward Mall, and the store owner is asking for your help. And this is what the puppy looks like, a black and brown purebred Rottweiler. She's seven weeks old and weighs nearly 10 pounds. We learned the puppy was taken on Monday afternoon after the suspect asked to pet the dog. Sarah Madison spoke with the owner of Colau Pets today. Sarah. Marissa, we spoke to store owner Matthew Furtado, who tells me they're making flyers to hand out, and the store is offering a $500 reward. Furtado tells me the suspect not only stole a precious pet, but also took his trust in people. It was just another busy day at Ko'olau Pets, Plants and Ponds, with a new display of Rottweiler puppies at the front of the store. Uh, we're always busy with people coming in and out because we've got a lot of puppies and everybody likes to come to the pet shop. Store owner Matthew Furtado tells me three employees were working at the time. I'm told the suspect tried to open the top but found that it was locked. So he asked an employee if he can hold one of the puppies. And then he asked one of the girls to see it and she pretty much took it out, gave it to him. They walked into the petting room maybe two or three minutes later. According to the videos, you seen the door open up and he bolted out the door and ran straight out the door with the puppy in his hand. Surveillance footage was handed it over to police. HPD tells me it's investigating this incident as a second-degree theft case. Because of the value of the stolen puppy, it's considered a felony punishable by up to five years in prison. Normally when you take people into the puppy room, is there uh, someone to watch over the customer uh, no, the puppy? No, no, usually, no. We usually just, you know, we pretty, we're pretty trusting, yeah, but now we should change that since then. We have somebody staying and we tell them to watch the front now or we're going to take driver's license. We're not sure how we're going to, but we're, we're definitely watching. It goes to show you can't trust anybody nowadays, yeah. We reached out to other pet stores to find out if they've had any theft attempts, but they have not. No arrests have been made at this time. If you have any information, you are asked to call police. Sarah Madison, KHON2 News.